Do you ever have family in town and you feel like you have to do it, you have to dedicate every like second of your time to them and then eventually like come around like day two or three, you're just exhausted and you're just honestly kind of ready for them to leave. I used to feel like that, but then I started doing something a little bit different and it's honestly changed the way that I, uh, I enjoy family and I'm honestly sad to see them go by the end of the week or however long they're staying instead of just basically shooting them out the door. And honestly, I it, it was mostly something it was something that I did myself and it made a huge a big difference. You see, when you have family, I feel like there's this thing where you just you feel like you have to spend every second of every day with them and you don't. I think this can also be tricky when the family is like from out of state and you don't see them very often. You can just go on overload for not just yourself but for them too. That's how that's how I felt. But then I was having a conversation with Savannah and she basically just suggested that I just I I I treat it like I would a friendship that I have with a friend that's like two miles down the road. I don't spend every second of every day with this person, I just spend little moments with them and that way it's, when we are together, it's it's more of a special time. So basically that's what I've kind of started doing when we have family in town. I don't spend every second of every day with them, I still go about my normal life, but I spend time with them and I'm intentional about the time that I spend with them and I think it's honestly made the trip's a lot better and I'm not completely exhausted and drained by like day two or day three. All that to be said, I'm home alone in Savannah and my mom went to go get their nails done or some, some girly stuff. And I'm getting a, I just finished doing that. <laughs> On my run this morning, I saw this road sign that it, it had the perfect amount of grit it, it, it just it looked it looked perfect. I think it looked cool. So I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go take some pictures of it right now, but it is supposed to rain according to the weather app It's supposed to rain in like 20 minutes the Guy was parked in the street like not to the side, in the street. That's not the sign, but that is a good sign. That's it. That's the sign. Isn't it awesome? Isn't that thing amazing? It has just enough grit and grime to have character and have a story, but it's still it's still legible. It's great. Well, Savannah and my mom should be back at the house, and we made the ambitious decision to uh, to go downtown right now. And uh, for those of you that don't know, there's a Taylor Swift concert going on this weekend, and it's. So Savannah, they're actually not here, and they're on their way home, but they're not here because I asked them to get me something. 
You know when somebody when you ask somebody something and as you're asking you're not you're not expecting them to actually want to do it. Well, that's exactly what I did, but the only difference this time is Savannah said yes. You should be here any minute. Any minute. Thank you for my coffee. So you might reschedule your, your shoot because it, it might rain today? Yeah, I don't know. Well, that didn't go as planned. Savannah had to cancel, so we're not actually, we're not going downtown because we were going downtown for a shoot, but... 